So I want to start out by asking you uh, about your clients. Who do you serve and what do they need from you? Um, I serve a multicultural market and um, what they need from me is really just the education piece of life insurance and retirement. And let's talk about life insurance and your clients, because you had mentioned that it's, you know, building that financial house. So talk about how you might overcome some objections that they might have, some superstitions they may have about life insurance. How do you work with them and educate them on life insurance? I always tell them, I'm like, look, I really am here just to educate you. And the next step is just to get the, if you have, once you have that information, you can do whatever you want with it. You can make moves. Or whenever you're ready to make those moves, I will be here to help you to get there. So that's really like, I go in there with an education um, piece because I don't, I remember learning about it myself and it blew my mind to, to learn about like all the different types of insurances that you are able and capable of doing because a lot of the multicultural um, like market, they're very, some of them are very savvy but the underserved communities, they don't even understand the basics of just life insurance and checks and balances. So um, just going in there to educate them and know what's on the table because they work really hard for their money. They're very conservative and they wanna be able to see their money grow and compound in interest. And I, I like to be able to educate them what the options that they have and they can actually, it's, it's very like transparent. And I like to be as transparent as I can be with my, my clients. So. That's how I, I view them in to, to really do life insurance. But I, I think I really do believe that life insurance is going to be like a renaissance of life insurance. And with September coming in and a lot of people going like with social media, I'm getting people texting me with TikToks and videos with people who are not even licensed, right? But guess what? Because of people knowing you and you serving the community with, through volunteering and everything, People are sending them to, to you to take care of. And I want to be able to have all that in, that knowledge and information so that I can help them. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Listen, Ruth, I want to thank you so much for telling your story to us. And I wish you all the best as you move forward. Thank you for what you do for the industry. People need what you do. So don't ever forget that. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I, that was a really nice thing to know. And I'm, I'm, a nice reminder. So thank you. You have a great rest of the day and much success to you.